If you would like to see how I complete this birthday queen wine glass with little supplies and no epoxy used for the stem, keep watching. Okay, items used for this tutorial. I use this 20 ounce wine glass from the Dollar Tree, or should I say the Dollar 25 cent store. A uh, nice full body glass, 20 ounces, nice strong base, wide bottom at the bottom so you can see all your glitter. That's our first most important product. For the glue, I use the Mod Podge Gloss and I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. I don't have that much left in here, but we're gonna definitely do projects that's gonna use all of it so I don't waste glue, so. This demo glass is gonna be in a nice pretty rose gold color. It's a very popular color. And of course, for these type of glasses, you can use any color you like. This one's gonna be rose gold. I get my paper plate to catch the glitter on. My little small bowl, nothing fancy. I use it for the glue. You need your foam brush. You can get this from, they have them at the dollar store as well. Uh, buy them from Michaels, wherever there's a crafting section. And I also use an old piece of newspaper because I need to protect my countertops. So we'll just lay this down. Okay. And let's get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, good morning, crafting cousins. Overnight has passed since the last time I did the video. And basically, this is what we have. And as I said, after you put the Mod Pod sealer on, it's easy for the touch. Nothing's coming off in my fingers. And what I don't think I did uh, off camera is I ran some water over it because there was some loose glitter that was up here just to get the loose glitter off. I haven't applied any um, cleaning solution or anything to it. So you still see some, you know, residue on the glass itself. But basically I like how it turned out, especially with that, um, the gloss Mod Podge. If, it, if you had used the matte Mod Podge, it wouldn't be as shiny as this. Of course, if you want another different type of shine, you always can go to Epoxy Reason or even Triple Thick will get you a shine, but it's not going to glue or um, seal as fast as you use the Mod Podge. And also, if you use the Triple Thick or like a clear sealant, it might be a little bit smoother. This, you could still, if you can hear it hear some of the glitter but again it's not coming off of my fingers so this is always my go-to method that I use for these glasses and right now what I'm gonna do and I hope you can see this on the camera is you see there's some residue from where I had the glue and I'm just gonna lightly scrape that off gently just to clean around there a little bit Excuse my nails, I swear. I'm a crafter at heart. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm just taking that little bit of glue off. So when we put, place the rhinestones around the line, it won't show above where we're going to put the rhinestones, if that makes sense. But you'll see it when I actually get to that step, which will be in a few minutes, because now... In a few seconds, because this isn't going to take long. I'm just, like I said, I'm just using my nail. You can use an X-Acto knife or whatever else you want to do. I'm just enhancing the line a little bit. I might be going a little bit too deep in the glitter, but that's fine. Okay, we're almost done. See that line that I'm moving? Just to shape it up a little bit. There's a string. Okay. It's still rough a little bit. But, let me see. You can push it up some. Make it a little bit more even. Okay. Not to apply the vinyl.
completely finished glass all cleaned and washed up our embellishments came nicely embellishing the crown the little hair highlights on the queen the two E's in the end or you can bling it completely out whatever your choice the embellishments around the base where I said that you had the option of straightening out the line, so don't be as particular when you're putting the glue on and the glitter, because you can always hide any imperfections with embellishments. And our completed glued base, glittered, it still has the shine of the glitter and easy to handle with no glitter on your fingers. If you have any questions about completing this glass, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for watching.